What's going on guys, Doug Smith here. Welcome to another episode of the We Sweet One. Today, we're gonna to talk about why it's important to adjust pH when adding plant nutrients such as, you know, regular fertilizer, miracle Grow, what have you, and magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt. And you're probably adding these so you can get better plants. And we're gonna show you how to make this more effective, whether it's potted plants or just plants in your garden. And we're gonna show you results from before and after. So stay tuned, cause that's coming up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just simplify this. Now, this is gonna be like a three-part video, but I'm gonna make it real short. We should be out of here in five to seven minutes. So we have three parts. We have our pH, and this is a general hydroponics pH kit. What I'm gonna do is uh, explain that. We got our plant food, and then we have our magnesium sulfate. Now, magnesium sulfate, see it right there on the label? It's just Epsom salt. Uh, our plant nutrients, are going to be just uh, some general all-purpose plant food that miracle Grow puts out. They got a few different numbers on the back here, and I, I might just go ahead and take a still frame to kind of compare and explain. All together, what we're doing is using maybe like a, a half, half of this container. It's probably about a gallon and a half of water. Now, I kind of eyeballed this. I've done this more than a couple times. I'm definitely like a pro, I guess. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and take our plant food and our Epsom salt. We have plant food on this side, and we have the Epsom salt here. Like I said, I've already done this a couple times. About a couple days ago, I had already done treatments, and I'm gonna refer to some older footage, so that way you can see the difference, um, you know, what, what has happened since I've added this. And before I spill all of it, let me just go ahead and dump all that into the container. And then I thought I'd grab something to mix it. So I'm gonna grab something to mix this. Okay, so now that we've added our, our plant nutrients and our magnesium sulfate, we have our water and we have it mixed. And just kind of a side tip, when you go to do something like this, you wanna go ahead and make sure that your water is not frigid ice cold or boiling hot. Just lukewarm does just fine. You gotta remember this is gonna be going to the plants. So if you, uh, if you put really cold water, you might shock them. And if you make it ice, well, not ice cold, but uh, burning hot, it's, it's possibly gonna shock them as well. With that, I, I could have pH this water beforehand, but the whole point of doing it after the fact is because the pH of the water is going to change um, the second you add your plant nutrients and your magnesium sulfate. The second you do that, it's going to lower the pH. Um, now, this is just my experience with this plant food, the miracle Grow. However, it could vary depending on what type of uh, plant nutrients you're adding. Don't, don't necessarily go exactly off of this just because of the products I'm using. If you're using something different, you know, make sure to, um, make sure to incorporate that with uh, what you're doing with your pH. So, we got the nutrients, we got the Epsom salt, now it's time to pH it. Now, before I do that, I do want to explain um, there's really no purpose for this pH testing pen, but the main reason why I purchased it is because in the kit that you get from General Hydroponics, you're going to get you know this uh, descriptive label, and it's got a chart, which I have a picture of. I'll put a still frame up, but you're going to get pH down, pH up, and you can see that I really haven't used much. I've had these bottles for two years. Now, if you know, that doesn't say a whole lot about how much I use, but you can see the testing solution I have is um, not quite as full. And the reason why is every time you use just the kit, you're going to use a container. You're going to take this uh, dropper, fill the container with a sample of water, put a few drops in, and then you shake it. And whatever the water turns out to be, you can see, you know, it's either like 8.5, 8, 7, 5, 5, is that 5, 5? I think that's 6.5, it must have rubbed. But you, you match the color and then you know where you're at. But in my case, I wanna be a little bit more accurate. And, um, you know, if you gotta adjust it, 
then you have to empty this, rinse it, then add a new sample, then add more drop, shake it. And you end up burning through this stuff a lot faster. So, um, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can just go and buy this, the test indicator solution on its own. But I just, I found it easier to use this. And the reason why is it's got a little protective case. You just open it and it's got a little switch at the top. So that's, that's about all you have to do. And uh, you just submerge it, click it on, and it's gonna tell you where you come in at. Now the water itself normally on its own is about 8.2. Uh, after I added the plant nutrients and the magnesium sulfate, it looks like it has brought it down to 6.3. Now I like to aim closer to 6.0 and I'll explain that here in just a second. All right, so what I just did, because um, I, I am using just one hand to do this, I simply just opened my pH down and I used the dropper and I put about, about half of that. I had about that much in there, um, but I just applied about two or three drops and what I do is I, I suck water up right out of the container into the dropper and that's the best way to clean it for uh, quick use anyways. Distilled water is usually the better way. Um, but now that I've done that, I've mixed it. Let me go ahead and open my pH pen and see what the adjustment has been. So like I said, 6.0 is what we're looking for and 6.1 I think I can deal with. Now the reason why we want that to be our, our goal is 6.0 or 6.1 is simply because as this chart indicates, um, and I'll, I'll just put a still frame, but I'll explain to you overall, uh, plants don't like pH too high or too low. If it's 6.5 or above, the plant will not take the nutrients in. If it's 5.5 and below, the plant will not take the nutrients in. So right in the sweet spot, right in the middle is 6.0. So that's where I like to shoot for. Um, but most of it ultimately comes down to the availability of the minerals and the plant nutrients. And then the reason why we use the magnesium sulfate is because that's just gonna help our plant take in those nutrients. So. Now that we've got it pH down, and this is uh, what you want to do last. You don't want to pH your water, then add your plant nutrients and your magnesium sulfate because, like I said, it could lower it or bring your pH up. So, most importantly, I'd say the biggest thing to take away from this video is your pH because, like I said, it won't take in what you're giving it if the pH is not in that sweet spot and uh, consistency helps if you're doing you know if it's getting 5.5 or 5.8 from the rain and then you're watering it with a hose which is 8.2 at least where i'm at it varies wherever you are and it can vary day to day but the inconsistency on the ph level is going to completely it, it, it's just going to throw your plants off um it, it's kind of like we get sick if we go out in the cold come back in the heat and go out in the cold and come back in the heat and we do it too much we get sick plants they're kind of more finicky they will just straight up not take nutrients they won't they won't deal with it they'll say hey cool there's water and there it goes and they'll just let it run right through their roots and dry up and they won't take any of it but the second that pH is in the sweet spot for them, they're gonna thrive. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna give you some footage of the plants before I added the nutrients, and then I'm gonna show you what they look like now. So with that, let's, uh, let's see how I can cut this. This is gonna be interesting for me. I haven't edited this way in a while, so um, I'll just go ahead and shoot the new and see what we can find of the old. Okay, so about three days ago, this petunia here did not have a single bloom on it and the green foliage on it was actually getting really, really, really thin. And this unfortunate pink petunia's seen way better days. The thickness of the leaf is better. Um, so, I mean, they were not quite like this. In fact, you know, all these leaves on the bottom, those are all new and they 
they've been doing just fine looking about the same but as soon as I put some plant nutrients in the water and as soon as I added the uh, magnesium sulfate or the Epsom salt they just kind of took off uh, same as these it was like the other day there was six petunias or well six of the blooms and then ten and then all of a sudden it's starting to fill out so that's a good positive sign and now we're gonna look at a rubber plant because this thing is actually taken off now too uh, same as everything else when I watered it it didn't have I guess that was just like a shell I'm hoping I hope I didn't break that but it's got these new shoots you know what I mean it did not have any of these bottom leaves um, definitely did not have this long one but you can see that it's it's continuously trying to give new leaves and um, I mean every little spot on here it's it's putting out a new shoot for leaves on every single one and uh, this one hasn't been like this you know the entire time we've had it out here and now it's starting to spread out which is another great sign and then these I actually uh, posted in a previous video I'm not sure what these are but these are all starting to uh, butt up really nice as well and even with the marigolds uh, these started with just one or two in the pot and they've in the last week and a half spread out and then the ones we have under here they actually looked like they had died and now it looks like they're starting to come back so now all these products in the video they're all going to be listed in the description below. Um, I have links right to Amazon and I do my best to try to find the lowest listed price if by chance one of you guys click on the link and go check it out to get this stuff to do for your own plants and you find a better price let me know because I, I hate I don't want to I don't want to seem like I'm trying to rip anyone off but otherwise give this video a thumbs up if it's helped check out the ph try that and you know see if it doesn't make a world of difference it's changed the way all of our plants are doing i know they look rough because it's kind of summer but i promise you it works so uh with that we'll see you on the next video